Hello and welcome to Connections with me, your host Eileen Curlin Walsh. Today we're going to explore healthy eating, particularly in children. It could be challenging for wee busy parents to eat a balanced diet and almost impossible to keep our children eating well with the bombardment of ads and images of colored food, sugary food and junk food. Well, our guest today, Vicky Marquez, is on a mission to change all of that. Vicky is a certified health coach, a wellness expert, a plant-based chef, and now an author. Vicky has written a book, The Rootlets, which introduces children to four young children on the planet, planted who have veggie hair, superpowers, and a healthy way of life. It's Vicky's dream to break the stigma that surrounds healthy eating, that it's boring, and she wants all children as well as parents to know that veggies are incredibly cool. And here today she's going to tell us all about her book and her mission for healthy eating. Welcome, Thank Vicky. Thank you so much, Eileen. Thank you for having me. Wonderful. We're delighted to have you. Why don't you start off by telling us about your book, The Rootlets, those little characters and where the idea came from for them. Absolutely. So the rootlets, as you mentioned, are for best friends. They are Brock, Caratina, Cornelius, and Kaylee. They have veggie hair and healthy habits. And they really are just discovering who they are and learning about their superpowers because they are superheroes. So along with their Yammy Grammy and their dog Basil, they live in the town of Veggieville and the whimsical planet Planted, where everything is really made up of fruits and veggies and healthy plant-based foods. And you know their super root abilities are their superpowers. So again, in this first book, they're really learning that they have them and discovering what those powers are. Okay, and what are those powers? Um, if I tell you all the powers, <laughs> you won't want to read the book. Oh, but I can give you a clue. Their powers are, are related to their hair. So okay. they tie together very nicely. Okay, so as soon as we tell you how to find the book, we won't <laughs> spoil what the powers are. So how did you come up with the idea for these superhero characters? You know, it's really funny. The idea just popped into my head. It was at a time when I had just started my health coaching practice and I kept hearing my clients telling me that a lot of their unhealthy eating habits traced back to their childhood. And at that same time, I was doing a lot of researching and reading about childhood obesity on the rise in our country. Mm -hmm. um, and I was also transitioning to a plant-based diet. And my best friend kept calling me a veggie head. So ah. one day I was sitting in my car, I was stuck by a train, and I was thinking of my friend and I thought of veggie head and all of the sudden, these four characters popped into my mind and I saw them and I was so excited about them and I called my husband and I just was telling him rattling rattling off all the ideas that were flooding my brain their names what they looked like their powers where they lived and I had never felt so excited about any idea before and I just knew that I had to bring them to life. So. And had you ever thought about written, writing any book, writing a children's never. book? Never. <laughs> writing in your field? Never. I never thought I would be a writer. I never thought I'd be an author. I never even thought that I would tap into the children's market. Mm -hmm. um, but. I'm looking back, I'm not that surprised because I've always been kind of a big kid at heart. I love funny words, I love making up silly songs. So this is perfect for me because I get to create and dream all day long. Yeah. So. And, and you had the wonderful idea, the inspiration, the characters, but what was your writing process? How did you get this idea onto the page? And so many aspiring writers and those who have a terrific message would want to know how do you turn such an idea into a reality? It's a process for sure. Um, it doesn't happen overnight. I had this idea. I like I said, I never planned on doing a book. I didn't know the first thing. I'm not an illustrator. Um, so it was really just trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And my initial vision was really to see these kids as a cartoon. And I met with a few friends who I know that are in the movie industry and they said, you know what, start with a book, start building this brand and then think about pitching it. Tell your story. And I just sat down and started writing different ideas about what their powers could be and, and why do they have them and what's behind it and mm -hmm. who are they going to encounter that they're going to need to have powers for and kind of laying out the whole story and I just actually wrote this story in a very short time and then worked with my illustrator to to put pictures and bring that to life. And did you have an idea of what the tradition, what the structures are, what's typically involved in children's literature? No. 
I had no idea. So it was a lot of days at the library, a lot of research, buying books on the topic on how to be a children's writer and you know the language to use and, mm -hmm. and all of that. It was very grassroots for me and just trying to figure it out on my own. And so I just kept going mm -hmm. every day, working at it, working at it, and, and now it's here. And, and is that maybe part of the secret for getting something big done, like one bite at a time, I a think, day at a time? I think that's the secret for anything in life. You know, and I coach my clients the same way in my health coaching practice, where it's, you're not going to lose weight overnight. You have to make small changes that, are, that feel good for you and kind of build on those habits, and that's when the big stuff starts happening. Uh -huh. So it's always step by step. Yeah, that's great. Now, of course, you, as a health coach know that there are many many benefits to eating well yeah. how did you decide for this book for these characters what the four superpowers would be it's a great question I love this because there was really two things that motivated me to determine what their powers were going to be and the first and foremost was what power I thought would be important to that character and then the second was what actual nutritional benefit came from that vegetable that corresponded with the character's hair so for example, Brock, I'll give you a little insider on the book here. Um, Brock has broccoli hair and he loves to learn and he loves to study and he's a smarty pants, he's curious. And so I knew that super brain power would be something that he would take very seriously, that he would love, he would be excited about, um, as well as the fact that broccoli gives us brain power. It improves cognitive function, it heals and strengthens the brain. So I combined those two things to come to the powers that each character has. Oh, right, and, and while it's four characters now, mm -hmm. perhaps in the future, and, and you can tell us a little bit later in the program if you plan on writing further in the field, but maybe they will be joined by other superheroes. And maybe they will. Ah. Yes. And how did you intend your little rootlets to inspire our children to be healthier? Who run from the table when they see a piece of broccoli? Often. Often, yes. Um, through fun. Fun and entertainment, I have found to be what kids are motivated. Mo I'm sorry, motivated by, um, you know, by creating this world. Everything in Planet Planted is fruits and vegetables and healthy plant-based foods. They live in an artichoke house. Their yummy Grammy drives a squash mobile. They have an you know onion sky searcher XT8 telescope. So everything is fruits and veggies. And when kids see that and then go to the market or see it on their plate, they're a little bit more inspired and excited to try it because there's some fun attached to it so by presenting it in that way so this really was more than creating characters you created an entire world oh, yeah. yeah it's kind of like candy <laughs> candyland but the healthy yeah. version of candyland oh what a yeah, great so image the whole world is is completely created out of healthy plant-based foods oh that's terrific and this particular book what age level were you aiming to inspire so I wrote this book really for the third fourth grade reading level which is about seven to nine years of age um, but I've been doing readings at schools for first and second graders and they have loved it as well and one of my main goals was to make this a very fun and colorful book so that every child can actually look through it with their parents and flip through the pages and see the characters um, and every page in the book is illustrated. So if you're reading with a younger a child, you can explain the pictures and, and skip over some of the wordy parts. So it's really yes. for everybody. My five-year-old, I read this with my five and eight-year-old, and my five-year-old loved it. The eight-year-old was interested, particularly in the superpowers, but my five-year-old loved it, and he loved the pages, and he just kept wanting to stay on each page. <laughs> when at 8.30 at night, I want to keep moving yeah. on to the next. You know how that goes. And there's little so, details on each page where you know kids will pick up on, because they're so observant. So Kaylee, she's our little fashionista. She loves to do the hair and the makeup and she has apple core curlers in her hair in the bed. So there's those little details where you can see uh, even more of their world through the illustrations. Yeah. And it is beautifully illustrated. Thank Tell you. me about your collaboration with the illustrator who is... Jeremy Rusnak is the illustrator of the book and he is incredible. Um, he is probably the only person that can take all of the crazy things that are going on in my head and bring them to life and make them so beautifully real. And one image in particular, it's when, when Kaylee learns that she can glow, that's her power. It's another giveaway. Um, she's glowing and I was like, how is he gonna make her glow and shine? And when I saw the image, I was just blown away because it evokes so much emotion of what she'd really be feeling. So mm -hmm. 
He's amazing. Another really cool thing about our collaboration is that he and I are cousins. So oh. we have a family history to pull from, and a lot of the rooms have a feel that is very reminiscent to where we grew up in our childhood. So mm -hmm. that adds an extra special layer for me, mm -hmm. you know, to see come alive in my book. And the colors are gorgeous, uh, viewers. The colors are <laughs> just beautiful and, and truly evocative. And your web page, your landing page, all coordinated. Did Jeremy design your web page also? He did do the characters on the web page, and then we're working with the web team right now that's helping us do the full website. Mm -hmm. So and, and the and look keep will the be nice cohesive look. and yes, the brand yes. will be the same. Yes. So since creating the rootlets, how have you taken out them into the world, and how have they been received? Well, I've been doing a lot of school events. I'm starting local and expanding out. Um, I actually just came back from Las Vegas where I did a school reading there. And, you know, back to school events, family reading nights, classroom readings, that's really, you know, what I've been doing a lot right now. And at the end of every reading, one of my favorite things to do, I do a Q&A with the kids after every reading. And that, it, I just love it because they are so adorable and smart and observant and funny. And they actually give me some really good ideas for my next yes, story, tapping yes. into them. Um, so just getting, getting to connect with my audience one-on-one -on -one and reading to them and spending time is really how I've been sharing them with the world and having so much fun yeah. with that. And the children are getting it and they're inspired and they haven't said, oh, veggies, we don't want to hear this. Some kids say they don't like veggies, <laughs> that's for sure, but they love the fact that they're superheroes. That mm -hmm. really gets them excited, just like with your son. Um, and it's really, it's so fun because there have been kids that I have met at different school events who have stuck with me. For example, there's this one little girl in particular, she'll forever be in my head. I did my very first family reading night and she was there and I read this story and the school loved it so much they invited me back to come read to each of the classrooms and when I went back she was one of the little girls and she ran up to me and she said Miss Author I never <laughs> used to like my vegetables and then you read the rootlets and now I'm loving them and I was so I was just like you are you know, that's awesome you're gonna have so many powers and she's like yeah I'm eating green beans and peas and salad and you know those are the moments that like Mm -hmm. I'll get emotional. But she she will always be with me. And for mm -hmm. that, you know. Experience. Exactly. Makes it all worthwhile. And as a health coach, it all comes back to you're not just an author. You're a health coach. And right. you want everyone to eat healthier. And here you are starting with the children and seeing some results. And I Absolutely. just think that's terrific. Thank so you. what? how has the journey been for you? Maybe you could tell us a little bit about your life and your journey and, and how this has, if it has, changed your life. It for sure has changed my life. You know, my professional background really links very closely to my personal background because about 10 years ago, I was very, very unhealthy myself. I was eating fast food. I was eating mm. on the go. I never worked out. I was had a lot of stress. And so I got to a point where I decided that I needed to make changes and I started looking into clean eating and working out and just feeling better. And I lost about 30 pounds. I started feeling amazing. And I was like, you know, there's something to this, this, this food body connection. And I, it became a passion. Healthy living mm -hmm. became a passion. And so I was, it was, you know, fast forward to maybe 2009. I was working in corporate. I was getting burnt out. And I was leaving the next day for a business trip. And my husband's like, let's go play a game of tennis real quick. And lo and behold, I broke my ankle on the tennis court that day. So <laughs> for the next eight weeks, I went nowhere. I had my foot in a cast, and I call that my eight-week opportunity because during that time, I was researching healthy eating. I was transitioning to a plant-based diet. I was buying textbooks of nutrition, and my husband again said, why don't you go back to school for this? And I did. I got my degree in nutrition. I became a certified health coach. I became a certified plant-based chef. And through that, this idea came to me. And, you know, it proves to me that what you put in your body and what you do for your health it can take you down a path that you never even knew. It's now my career, which I would never have guessed 10 yeah. years ago. So it's, it's huge. And tell us what a plant-based chef and diet means. Plant-based means that um, primarily plants. So we don't eat land animals. We don't eat any animal products. So no butter, no eggs. Um, I personally am not completely plant-based, but that is how I cook, I would say, 90% of the time. So fruits, veggies, whole grains, nuts, seeds, legumes 
all of the good stuff from from the earth. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. And you look gorgeous oh, and you. healthy thank and vital. So, so it's certainly you're a terrific advertisement for oh, your message. You. You. Vicky, have you do you think your message of making vegetable vegetables super cool? Do you think that's starting to work? With I your think audience? so. I mean, yes. every time I leave a school reading, I feel it. I feel the energy. They want to know if I'm coming back to read the next book. They want to know if they're going to be on TV. They want to know if there's going to be a movie. So when I hear my audience asking for more, then, yeah, I do think it's working. And like I said, the little girl, or I'll get a parent that says, after we read your book, my son wanted to go to the store and get all of the character's hair and cook it for dinner. And that's exactly why I'm doing it, you oh. know, making it fun, making it changing the conversation from eat your veggies to eat your superpowers really makes a big difference oh, I and think. it's tremendous mental shift yeah absolutely yeah. now you've talked about schools do you are you available if a teacher or a principal or a librarian or someone in the community wants to have you come speak to their group uh, is that something you're absolutely. available to do that's one of the things I love most about about what I'm doing so absolutely if anybody is interested um, you know in, in requesting a reading, they can send an email to contact at therootlets.com. Um, they can send a private message on Facebook backslash the rootlets. Um, and if, you know, any local readings, I'd be happy to do complimentary if they mention connections. So um, absolutely, they can reach out oh, for that. Great. <laughs> so if anyone wants to hear a bit more or invite Vicki, just contact the station, contact me, or contact Vicki at uh, the information that she gave. And we'll get that on the screen also, right. Vicki. Now, what can fans expect next for the rootlets? A lot. Um, I have some very big dreams, so we can expect more books, games, toys, dolls, an app is coming soon. And then right now my team and I are working on finishing the website. We talked a little bit about that. Right now it's just a placeholder, but mid-November we're launching the full site. And I'm so excited about it because all of our fans are going to have an opportunity to have a virtual experience of Planet Planted. So when you go to the website, you're going to be able to walk down the street in Veggieville and go into the Rootlets Artichoke home and go into STEM Elementary where they learn and see what they're learning and learn along with them. And there'll be learning activities, there'll be... Um, downloadable games and coloring pages as well as interactive stuff that they can do so it's going to be oh, super fun. fabulous and the app is that something maybe that adults could use to choose healthier foods or is it still very much for the children it's still everything is for the children so it will be um, it'll it'll be along the lines of them being able to create their own root like characters and, and playing in that virtual world so okay. that'll be what that is and then the adventure, the Rootlets adventure, will continue in the spring with the release of book two. So. And any insider info <laughs> for book two? I can't give away too much, but I can say that it will take place at Mr. Fungo Fungi's Planacy Land. So anybody that loves the amusement park is going to get to see the park and the attractions there. I will be introducing new characters and maybe possibly a villain so oh good gracious. <laughs> they'll have to start using their powers now that they're oh, they are. absolutely <laughs> now when where the book that you currently have how is that available how could our viewers get a hold of the rootlet super it. root abilities um, the rootlet super root abilities is available on amazon.com it's also available at barnes and noble and if you do visit our website which is www.therootlets.com you can also buy the book there um, and you can also join our fan club. We have about 5,000 fans right now, and you'll get some insider access and exclusive content that you can't get anywhere else, as well as if we do any specials or deals, you'll be access, get access mm -hmm. to that as well. Um, so, yeah. So let's and you have a, a newsletter. So for the email, just go to your web page yes. or your fan page or landing page. Put in your email, and then you'll get you know the wonderful newsletter, which yep, I have to say I've been getting. Part of the fan club, <laughs> <laughs> lovely. Yes, yeah, so it's been it's been terrific talking to you, Thank Vicky. You Is there so anything much. in closing you'd like to say to our viewers about your books, your plans for the future, or just about healthy eating in general? You know, I would say that if anybody has a little person in their life, you know, check out the rootlets and learn to love veggies together because what you you are what you eat and um, veggies are super cool. We're making them very cool, very fun. So just check it out and follow along because there's a lot more to come. Lovely. Beautiful. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Vicki. Thank you so much for that insight. Thank, Thank you. you, viewers, for watching. Thank 
Stay with us in the coming weeks. We'll bring you terrific new guests who will share their insight and knowledge for our inspiration. Thanks and goodbye.